guys, welcome to Will the Beard Review. Today we're talking about Teen Titans issue 27, The Girl Who Fell From the Sky, written by Adam Glass and drawn by Robson Roca. Now, this issue gives us the origin story of Crush, the daughter of Lobo, who appeared in Teen Titans five or six issues ago, I think somewhere around there when they kind of changed over the team. Um, I've really been enjoying the character. Um, I was hesitant about the new characters coming in because uh, I liked the team as it was, but Crush is a great character and like I said, we get her origin story here. So basically it feels a little derivative of uh, Superman's origin story where he falls to earth and is found by a happy couple Although instead of uh, Ma and Pa Kent out in Smallville, Kansas, he is or she is found by a couple stoners at Burning Man, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. So they see it as a sign that they need to take her and they basically raise her as their own from that point forward. But uh, again, like very much the opposite of Ma and Pa Kent. They are stoners and they just are, you know, constantly moving around. They're knocking off uh, drug dealers, always having to escape from hotels, run away from things that they've done, things like that. And it eventually catches up to them and uh, they are killed. And then uh, Crush is... Uh, seen as noticed as the daughter of Lobo she her parents always said you know you're a hero like Superman you've got powers like him um, and then she sees on TV in one of those kind of classic window scenes where there's a TV in the window who's ever seen one of those by the way I've never seen one of those people huddled around a TV screen in a window never seen it but a classic TV media trope um, and Superman is fighting Lobo and the crowd recognizes her as Lobo's daughter or you know that she at least looks like him and she kind of puts two and two together figures out she's more villain and then hero goes back to her parents that's when she finds them dead lashes out uh, on her own a group of redneck hillbilly ignorant folks uh, you know try to attack her because you know she looks like Lobo she kills them and that's kind of her origin story in a nutshell which I really liked it um, I like like I said I thought it was hilarious that she landed at Burning Man and she was picked up by uh, some kind of hippie stoners um, also very interesting she's got these like sentient chains that she landed with that she lost and then over the course of this issue she finds again um robin gives her the location of those chains she goes uh, on a road trip with dejin that's kind of where this story starts and kind of is the device they use to inform the audience about her origin story as she's traveling with Dijin, she tells her, so we're telling the audience, things like that. And they're traveling to where the chains are because Robin used some techno babble to find out where they are. And the guy who, the drug dealer, uh, you know, drug kingpin, whatever, cartel leader, who killed her, uh, her parents or her adoptive parents, took the chains and kind of trained them for himself. But uh, crush talks to the chains and of course they you know get back together and then she leaves with them so very interested to see what those sentient chains bring to the table later on um very cool stuff uh the only con uh complaint i have about her origin story is not really about the story that was told but we didn't get to find out who her mother is we know she's the daughter of lobo but we don't get to find out who her mother is i don't know if they're saving that plot point for later on or if they just wanted to tell the story of from when she landed on earth uh forward so be interested to see what that story is later on now also speaking of origin stories in the back of this issue it's kind of a a extra-sized anniversary issue since it is the 25th one, we get a little bit more backstory on a Roundhouse, another character that showed up just a little while ago uh, when they kind of retooled the teams. And I haven't liked that character as much as I have Crush or Dijin, some of the other characters that have joined, especially Red Arrow. She's been pretty cool too. Um, but we find out a little bit more about him, especially what happened to him after he flew the nuclear bomb into space uh, from a few issues ago. We all assumed he was dead, but then we found out he was alive. Turns out... He turned himself liquid, managed to survive the fall back to Earth, was picked up by a Chinese fishing ship, uh, then imagined uh, his sister, we think, uh, came to help him survive, but it's really just uh, 
a hallucination or him envisioning her helping him get back to America. So he, you know, steals a boat, disguises himself as a ball to get on the plane to come back home to America. Turns out he probably got his powers in some sort of event that also killed his sister. So interested to get uh, some more information on that going forward. Uh, all in all, a fantastic issue. It was really cool to get Crush's origin story. Uh, very excited to see what's coming up next. Looks like the tea uh, the tease for next issue said enter the bat cave so it's probably going to be a more Damien focused issue very excited for that I love the character of Damien so great issue very cool to see Crush's origin story what did you think about this issue did you like her origin story did you think it was funny that she landed at Birming, uh, Burning Man let me know all your thoughts about that in the comments below thank you for watching if this is your first time here at the channel hit that subscribe button for me it would mean a lot and until next time we'll see you at the comic shop